In today's video, I'm going to talk about the two ways to import your models into Twinmotion 2020. My name is Katrina, I'm a garden designer, and I see you there. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In this video, I'm going to talk about the two ways to import into Twinmotion your models. Okay, so this is what we're working with. This is a model I've changed a little bit and I add furniture and some vegetation. But the base of this model is from a guy called Andres. I'll let the link for his 3D warehouse um, collection of houses. It has amazing houses. Uh, I'll let the link in the description of this video. So yeah, I wanted to show you how to import and what's the main difference between importing one way or the other. So basically, when you have when you into Twinmotion, in Twinmotion you have uh, when you import, you have collects by material or KPR. That's the main ones. This is collapse also. Basically, it just you know everything into different pieces and bits and pieces. So key hierarchy, it basically um, it basically you lets you keep the hierarchy, the hierarchy you have in your model from SketchUp or any other program like Revit, any other programs. Okay, so imagine that you normally have a door uh, that you use in SketchUp, and if you keep this hierarchy in here, you will add the whole door. Okay, so if you collapse by material, is reading just the different materials of the door. If you have, if you keep the hierarchy. It keeps the whole door all together, so the brass bit, you know, everything together. So that's that's the two ways you have to import into uh, Twinmotion. Okay, so that's pretty cool. If you can compare with Lumion, Lumion uh, collapse everything by material. Okay, so when you when you uh, selecting a, a material in Lumion. Um, is selecting everything that has that same material. So if you change in one place, you change in all others. Okay, but if you collapse by hierarchy, you basically you and you have in SketchUp that this design uh, as a wall, and you have a different wall in a different group point as a different um, um, as a different tag. Uh, it only changes the material of this wall. It won't change the other one even if they are with the same material. So this is useful when when you want to animate things. OK, so and to organize things in in uh, inside uh, Twinmotion. OK, so if you see here, if I had all this uh, as material, everything will be um, everything will be separated. So you won't have this kind of uh, reading components. And you, this could be even a bit more organized inside SketchUp. So it might be useful to do that work before. But everything is organized like it is in SketchUp. OK, so uh, component is a component um, and things like this. And because this uh, model was imported having hierarchy in place okay and this is very useful to select things uh, at the same time or uh, to to add things uh, to add movement to have the rotating doors for example it's, it makes it easier okay uh, at the same time um, collapsing by materials is useful when you have different parts of your garden or it's a big project and you want it to change the same the, that material all at once in all the places that will be useful in the other ways, for example, because there is that trick of adding 3D grass that I showed you in the previous video. I'm just going to uh, go and quickly show you here around where a place where is 3D grass. Um, so basically what what uh, what you you normally do is have you have this selection, you have this and normally you isolate it. OK, and you add to that material. OK, but because I have this uh, imported as hierarchy is not only that grass bit that selected, it's the whole base of the model because that's how he organized previously in SketchUp. OK, so if you adding uh, like uh, the scattering uh, grass um, that you have here, OK, to a material, you will add all to that group, not just the grass bit. OK, you understand what I'm saying? So it basically is reading that as a group. And what it does, it, it scatters the grass into all the group. OK, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, I will probably by default always import as material because I'm just more used to it and because I work with Lumion 
this is the way they work um, you might want to have things like the war moving around and things like this to be imported separate files as uh, keeping hierarchy in place okay so just have that in consideration because if you're working with the outdoors like i am and i want to add uh, specific things to specific surfaces like the 3d grass scattering pit in just the grass areas just with that material you need to import as uh, keeping uh, collapse material sorry okay so i'll just open the i will import this model again as collapse materials just for you to check it out So here you have the imported model, collect my material in place, okay? So as you can see, when so I'm here, um, so all this all is like basically all the materials are loose. So you don't have this in groups, you don't have this in components. So everything is like, you know, um, loose basically all thrown together okay so but when you select the grass pit and you want to scatter vegetation only in the grass you only selects the material that material okay so this is very useful when you're scattering when you're using scattering vegetation because if you if you i'm just this is random completely random but you'll only scatter in in these areas okay it just goes through a little bit outside but basically only scatters in that areas if i go into the other model that has collapsed by hierarchy in place um if i try to do the same okay if i'm if i'm going to select only this area or i think i'm selecting only that area but i'm actually not um and if i try to do the um, sorry the scattering bit is going to add all in uh, in uh, in the in that group because it's basically reading the component reading the group that you that you have uh, um, as grouped as one part in sketchup is not reading this as individual parts okay one way to get through this is uh, previously in SketchUp organize the grass pits as a tag. Okay, so organization in SketchUp. I will do a further video um, in another time about the organization in SketchUp and, and Twin Motion uh, because it's a way of getting through that. Okay, so if you have the pavement, the areas of that you know you're gonna want to scatter grass. Uh, completely separated in SketchUp, okay, as as a, their own thing. Um, um, this you can definitely scatter, and that's a way to get around it, okay? Because collapsing by hierarchy, it's a much better way to actually organizing your model after in Twin Motion, okay? So this is a short video today. I just wanted to talk a little bit about it. I'll get more into the organization of Twin Motion in further videos, and uh, but the next one is going to be about um, settings, okay? Um, I got some uh, nice renderings that I'll add in the end of this video, just for you to check it out, but I really got some nice settings in for Twin Motion rendering that look pretty good okay see you in the next one guys bye